Hi everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. Today it's raining as you can see outside here, but we're going to try to get to the rafters. I'm going to cut those in the garage and uh, talk about how we're going to line up this bird's mouth. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps us out. Leave a comment down below and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. So we're in the garage now. It's really raining outside. Uh, these are my rafters and um, we're going to get these uh, cut. But first we need to figure out what the angle is and uh, how to cut that bird's mouth. So there is a formula. It's uh, rise divided by run. Uh, you take that answer. Uh, you take a, the tangent of one divided by the answer uh, of your rise divided by run. And then you multiply that by 180 and divide by pi. Um, so that's a little bit complicated, but here's a better way to do it. You put your rafter up where you want it, measure uh, the distance that you want from your end so the rafter is in the right place, and uh, take a square and draw your lines. Done. Okay, so now that you guys seen how the easy way is done to, to do your bird's mouth, uh, that really works well for a short distance like our pergola. Uh, so now I'm just going to transfer these lines from the one that we just did on the, um, the, qu the quick and easy way, and uh, we'll get this done. And another thing, I'm not really sure how I want to cut this. I know that it needs to be cut, and I can cut it. I'm just not sure if I want to use a skill saw, a Japanese pull saw, or a jigsaw. Uh, and I'm sure that there's other ways of cutting this as well. So while I'm marking that, I'm gonna decide uh, how I wanna do this. And uh, I'm probably gonna lean towards the jigsaw. Who knows, we'll figure it out. Now, as you can tell, all these are rough boards. We've planed the sides only and left the tops or the edges rough. Uh, so I'm just gonna uh, kind of mark this. I'm gonna take the main marks off of, of the template and then transfer them across. Uh, it's not gonna be perfect. And like we said, it's not a, um, this project is not about being perfect. So we're just gonna get this done. Here's a little speed square to get the angle. And it looks like it's almost 10 degrees here. But I'm gonna get but I'm gonna use this bigger one because it's gonna be able to give me uh, better degrees, hopefully. And the angle is actually nine degrees. So I'm going to copy it, the nine degrees all over. There is something that you can add onto your speed square that I don't have and there's these little clips and they go on here and they lock down wherever you want it. And so as soon as you put your speed square on it, it lines up exactly so I don't have to take that much time to be able to do this. I don't have those, I apologize. Uh, maybe I'll get those in the future. But for now, these ones are done and now I'm just gonna transfer over to the other end So I kind of did this already. I took a measurement from this point to this point 
and it was exactly eight feet. So I transferred the line over to the other saw side and used my square to draw across. Another way of doing this, I'm going to make sure I've got my lines right here. And there. So it happens to the issue when you're using rough lumber. Uh, I need to go up from this one. Uh, let's get you in focus here. An inch and a half. So I just got to eyeball that one. And eight and a half. And, and I'm done. So this is where those pieces come in handy on your, uh, on your square or on your speed square. Okay, so these are all marked out now and now I've got to get to uh, cutting them now. I think I'm going to use the jigsaw, but i got to find it. Okay, so with every success, there's got to be a little bit of failure. So we did find the jigsaw uh, and now I've realized I've got to turn every one of these boards around so I can cut uh, this way instead of backwards. Uh, time to get to that. All right, so we're good to go now. Uh, I can't wait to get a bigger shop. I know it's kind of, uh, when you work at, my, my stepfather's shop is uh, 30 by 20, and there's so much space in there to work. Uh, I really wish I had that. Um, so I'm looking forward to building my own and getting there someday, but this is what we've got to use for now. Okay, that's just not working nice. I'm gonna switch to the try to skill saw. The skill saw definitely works faster and better, but it definitely doesn't uh, cut off the whole thing, so I'm gonna have to use both. One down. Gotta think about how to make this go a little bit faster. Okay, so one more step uh, to do to these before we put them up, and that's to drill a hole through the top so the screws go in without cracking the wood. Just go get the drill. Okay, so now we're going to install the strong drive six inch uh, timber screws. Uh, that way we don't have to do that when we're up on top. And then we'll get these things moved back out um, onto the pergola and screw them down. And the reason we drilled those holes is because these things are so beefy they would have cracked the, uh, the two by six. All right, time to get these things moved to the back and then we'll screw them in. So this post is eight feet long. This beam is also eight feet long. And that beam up there is 16 feet long. And all the braces are 36 inches long. Um, this post is eight feet long. So there's eight, sorry, there's, there's five eight footers, two six footers, one six and a half, and two 16 foot uh, beams. The rafters are 10 feet long and all the braces are 36 inches long.
Well, that's it, guys. The rafters are up. The uh, bird's belt took me a lot longer than what I thought it was going to take. Uh, had some uh, learning, you know, with uh, transferring lines and all that stuff. Uh, it definitely took me a lot longer. I learned some things. I definitely need to get those little clips for my square so I can speed this process up. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing this again. Um, it's been a lot of fun, there's no doubt. Um, I'm going to take you guys for a little walk and show you uh, the different sizes here of all the different beams and how they're connected. All right, thanks guys. And until the next one, keep living the northern life. What's up? Nothing. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.